and ASL interpreters in the corner of the screen throughout the video. A young girl plays a keyboard in a classroom. E D E D E D E D one two four six. The E D one helps me the most, and I like it. E D E D E D E D one two four six. Title: Lila Student. It sounds a little more catchy, and it sounds like a pretty neat song that I created. Title: Brill Jingles. Title, Amy Gunning, Braille Instructor. Amy is seated in the classroom. Braille is a tactile reading and writing system. The camera pans across a page of embossed Braille, then a print image of a Braille cell with the dots numbered 1 through 6, and a print version of the Braille alphabet are displayed. A Braille cell is made up of six dots. Every symbol is made out of some combination of the dots in one Braille cell, or in combination with two or three Braille cells to create anything that is available in print. One, two, four, and five, it's G. One, two, four, and five, it's G. Title, Julie Harrison, music therapist. Julie is seated on a dimly lit stage. I was contacted by her Braille teacher a few years ago, and she told me that Lila was learning the Braille code through music. This is a strategy that this student made up herself. The songs are like commercial jingles. They're very short. They're very rhythmic. They're very fun. Lila claps and makes arm gestures to the beat of the music. One, three, four, five, six. One, three, four, five, six. One, three, four, five, six. Why, why, why? Portions of print braille charts and simulated braille are shown between speakers. Braille is mostly made up of a series of contractions. They're braille specific contractions. For instance, the word can. The contraction for it is the letter C by itself. So someone reading Braille and they read a sentence that has the word can in it, they will find a C by itself. But can do every from, but can do every from. Braille songs are really good for me to practice singing, to learn my Braille, to learn my contractions in Braille. Da five do we which where? Da five do we which where? Da five do we which where? Where, 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 where are you? When she is singing that, that lets her know that, okay, this contraction is made by a dot five and then the WH contraction. I actually used it as a tool myself. I have to take a Braille competency test as a teacher here. And um, the other day I was practicing and I was trying to retrieve what the, the contraction is for where. And I started singing dot five WH where, dot five WH where, dot five WH where, 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 where are you, which is Lila's song. Three, four, six, three, four, six, three, four, six, I-N-G. She has almost mastered the entire code now. I always sing them. Uh, uh, over and over and over again. Music is a wonderful tool because it moves information from short-term memory to long-term memory. So Lila is able to um, take this information that she gets, that she has to memorize certain numbers for certain braille dots, and she uses music to move it over into her long-term memory. I think that music was easy as pie. From a very young age, from preschool, she's had perfect pitch. Um, her, she just has an affinity towards music. You know, I make beats sometimes with my braille songs. She can just come up with these songs at, at the drop of a hat. I have a song for N, which you might like. Anytime that we as teachers can tap in to what is meaningful and motivating to students, it's so essential to learning and it's key to what will keep students interested. I do that for fun because uh, I wanted to learn more Braille and learn more uh, Braille songs. Having something like this as a resource that would you know, we could come back to and use, you know, that Lila created. If, if we could use that as a tool, then that would help other students. Anytime you learn a code or, or a new language, it's a lot of memorization. And that can be very hard and difficult and boring. This student has found a way to make it interesting and fun for herself. 
And I think that it could help other students who are like her, who are trying to learn this code in a fun, quick way. They will help them learn Braille, too. Oh, you, oh, you, dots, one, two, five, six. Oh, you, oh, you, dots, one, two, five, six. In video link, view all of Lila's Braille Jingles, Braille Jingles playlist, five videos, link also in description below. Graphic, the CSTB logo appears on screen. Colorado School for the Deaf and the Blind. Telephone, 719-578. 2100 csdb.org